Hi, I'm Allie Lawson. And I'm Adrian Barnes. And we are your Title I site reps. Welcome to Math at Home Family Game Night. We are going to teach you a series of card games that you and your family can play this weekend to emphasize um, math facts. Okay, so the first one we're gonna teach you is Addition Top It. For this game, you're gonna need a deck of cards and then everybody's gonna need an equal amount. We just have the two of us here. So we divided our deck into two um, piles. So what you'll do is each person will turn over two cards and they're going to add those two cards together. If you get a face card, go ahead and discard it. The person with the largest sum wins. So I got four plus four equals eight. eight. What did you get? I got 10 plus seven equals 17. So she would get my cards and play continues. The person with the most cards at the end of the game is the winner. Now you can also do this with subtraction. So instead of adding your cards together, you would subtract them. Make sure you start with the larger number. So I got two four, so four minus four would be zero. She had 10 minus seven, she would get three. She would win those cards. You can also do this, my third and fourth graders, with multiplication. So I got four, so I would do four times four is 16. She would do 10 times seven. Oh my goodness, she got 70, so she would get that. Okay, the next game we're going to teach you is Go Fish 10, and this works on making sums of 10. So just like in regular Go Fish, you're trying to make booklets of numbers, but you're trying to make booklets with sums of 10, like seven and three go together to make 10. So every person that you're playing with will need seven cards. And the first thing you want to do when you get your seven cards is you want to go ahead and see if there's any combinations that make 10. Now in this game, I will tell you, the ace is going to represent one and the jack is going to represent zero. So automatically, I see that I have some combinations that make 10. I have a 10 and a zero make 10. I'm going to go ahead and place that down in my booklet. I also see that I have a six and a four that make 10. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and play. I'm going to ask the opponent, do you have any nines? Do you have a nine? No, I do not. So she's gonna tell me to go fish. Okay. Do you have a six? Go fish. Do you have a two? Go fish. Oh, I can make a booklet. Okay, your turn. Do you have a seven? Yes, here you go. Thank you. Play continues until there are no cards left. The person with the most booklets with their sums of 10 is the winner. Okay, the name of this next game is called Name That Number. Now in this game, you'll be using addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division to hit your target number. You can play this game independently or you can take turns and play against a partner. So what you'll do is you will lay out five cards and then you'll put your deck of cards and then you're going to turn the top card over. This is my target number. Actually, I need to lay them out like this. Now, I will tell you in this game, Joker is going to represent 15, Kings will represent 13, Jacks will represent 11, a queen would represent 12, and an ace would represent one. So what you're going to do is you are going to either add, subtract, multiply, or divide two or more of these cards to reach my target number. My target number is eight. So I see that 13 minus five equals eight. So I'm gonna take those cards we're gonna replace this. We're gonna get a new target number and now it's going to be my opponent's turn. The only thing I can see to get to six would be 12 divided by two, which equals six. And then we will replace. And I have a new target number to reach. Ooh, I'm trying to get to 10. Okay, so I see six plus three is nine plus one more is 10. I will take those and I will replace my three and get it ready for my opponent and her new target number. Five. Oh, how 
how about five times one is five? Good one. <laughs> Okay, the name of this card game is called Salute. You'll need a deck of cards, but remove all of your face cards. You will not need them. This game requires three people. So one person will be the calculator and two people will be the saluters. But you'll rotate positions. The calculator will deal the saluters each a card. The calculator will say one, two, three, salute, and you will place your card on your forehead. The calculator is going to add these two cards together to get the total sum. In order for me to figure out what card I have, I'm going to have to use subtraction or I can use addition also. Okay, let's go ahead and show you how it's played. Calculator, when you're ready. One, two, three, salute. Fourteen. Do I have ten? Yes, you do. See, I knew I had 10 because 14 was our total. I saw that she had four, so my missing part had to be 10 because 14 minus four gave me 10. Or I could think four plus what equals 14? I would collect and then you rotate positions. So I would then become the calculator and the other two would be the saluters. Play continues until there's no cards left and the person with the most cards at the end is your big winner. The name of this game is called Card Bingo. You will need a deck of cards and you will remove all of your face cards for this. You can have anywhere from two to four players and then you will have one bingo caller. So what you'll do is when you get your cards, you're gonna make a three by three grid. Now, the bingo caller is gonna turn over a card and say the name. Three. If I have a three, I get to turn my three over. The point of the game is to be the first person to get three cards turned over in a row. So it can be three cards horizontally, three cards diagonally, or three cards vertically. Yell bingo when you're done. We hope that you had so much fun playing um, our game night at home with your family. We ask that for a sign in, if you participated, if you would scroll down below and put your family's name into the comment section so we know who all had such a fun night playing these games. Thank you.